You know, one of the fun things about going to the stadium is that there's a different set of manners there. You can actually drop peanut shells if you want to, and the spitting of sunflower seeds, well, not entirely frowned upon. But did you know that all sunflower seeds are not created equal? Biggs grows them twice as big as regular seeds. Watch. While the home team's swinging for the stands, there's one snack that's hitting a home run with both players and fans, sunflower seeds. One of the nice things about eating our sunflower seeds is a nice cracky bite, nice cracky sound. In a positive way, they're, they're somewhat uh, addictive. It's something to do with, uh, with your mouth while you're, you're sort of passing time. Now chew on this. In 2004, the Biggs Company came out with a sunflower seed that's two times the size of regular seeds. The big sunflower seeds come from the outer ring of the sunflower. The outer seeds are the most mature and have been growing the longest. It all starts at this farm near Bennett, Colorado. After the flowers turn brown or black, a combine harvests them and separates the seeds. Then. 50,000 pound truckloads of seeds arrive at the factory for sorting. One of the first primary steps that we go through is an air screen machine. Basically, we're aerating the product and taking off the light seeds, dust, and so on. Now, this machine's a real mover and shaker. It shakes down the smaller seeds while the bigger ones stay in the top bin. So the heaviest seed has the big kernel in it, and that's what we want to use for the roasting process. Next, the seeds slide and shake through another sorter that separates the heaviest, fattest ones into the far left slot. Get this, 25,000 pounds of seeds get sorted every hour. Next, the seeds drop into a tank of saltwater brine, but this is no ordinary soap. An auger pushes the seeds through the brine so they get a thorough dose of the salty soup. This method of brining allows that salt to be penetrated all the way through the shell, so the longer you have it in the mouth, you still have that salt feel. To create that crispy crunch, the seeds pour into the special fire roaster. Four machines roast 200 pounds apiece, but here's the secret to roasting success. If the seed's too hot, the seed can burn. If the seed isn't roasted enough, uh, the seed doesn't quite have that just perfect roasted kernel flavor profile that we're looking for. So bringing that seed to about 180 degrees for a short period of time allows that sunflower seed to just have that nice roasted taste at the same time uh, not being overdone or overburned, if you will. Now it's time to spice things up. 500 pounds of seeds take a tumble with flavoring. Big seeds come in a variety of flavors, from bacon to hot buffalo wings, ranch, and their best seller, dill pickle. Finally, they're bagged and brought to the stadium for all-star snackers. But what's the best way to eat them? There are a thousand one different ways to eat a sunflower seed. Most people put a handful in, in one side of their mouth. They'll move a sunflower seed to the middle of the mouth, crack the, 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 the seed open, so you eat, eat the kernel and spit out the shell. 